Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. Today's video is going to be my top, was it top three in every category? I know I'm late on this trend, um, but I'm here. Better late than never. And I'm actually wearing everything. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top favorites and I'm going to pick like one product from every category to put on my face but I am going to talk about the products that I picked and why I picked them. Um, I do apologize. I am very nasally today. I'm still sick but I wanted to get you guys a video and I wanted to put makeup on because I haven't filmed in what feels like forever and it feels good to just kind of get back into into the rhythm of things. I filmed it recently and I accidentally deleted the whole footage so this was my take two. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm dying to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Let me know how everybody's doing. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into the video. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my skincare. Um, I don't have it listed on my um, list here of like top three, but these are the products that I use every day, so I figured it's worth mentioning it. Uh, most of it is drugstore. Um, so yeah. Alright, first up is the Heritage... <laughs> Heritage Store Rose Water Toner. I do apologize that the dog is barking in the back. She barks at everything. Alright, so I just start off by putting this on my face. I like this, it's affordable. Um, I think everything under this line is at least under like $12. I found it all at Ulta. I really like it. Next, I do the Rose Water Serum. This is good because it's kind of like a quick, um, like, moisture to the face. Now, I am on the dry side, so I do layer my skincare, and you're going to see that. If you're not on the dry side like I am, uh, you can definitely skip the oil and skip the heavier cream and opt for something lighter. After that, I'll do my rose oil. I'm only going to use a little bit because I am going to use my... Jones Road Miracle Cream. That's not drugstore, obviously, but that's really the only moisturizer that I use because it's good with my skin because my skin is so sensitive and it's very dry. And I haven't found anything at the drugstore that's comparable to that. The closest I would say is um, the Woletta Skin Food. That's pretty close to it. Uh, the other thing with the Woletta Skin Food is that it does have like added fragrance to it and I, I don't like it that much. Cream. Alright, so first up on my list is going to be Glow Skin Prep. So I have a few things that I'm going to share with you that I really, really like and I reach for them often. When I want my base to be very glowy, there are two things that I really, really like, and I'm going to show you another, a third option. That... So I think with this video, I'm going to just use like one product, but I'm going to share the three products with you guys. I think that's what we're going to do. So three products that I think is really nice to kind of like uh, prep your skin really glowy. One is going to be the Makeup Revolution, the Goddess Glow. This was fairly new. I did do a review on it not too long ago. Um, and this one, I forgot what shade this is. It's the lighter one, though. It smells so good. You can't get to that. Another really great, like, illuminating base is going to be the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Hold on. I just want to make sure that that's in focus. Yeah, whatever, like, your shade range falls into, it. these are great. Like, I have medium. The light one would probably work for me, too. And there's like a, I think it's like pearl or something. So if you're porcelain, light, medium, tan, whatever, like they have you covered in different categories. So I like that a lot because pretty much everybody's covered. Then a third option that I really do like um, is the Neutrogena, what is this? The Radiant Primer and Serum. This gives you a really pretty glow and it's not like over the top or anything like that. Today I'm gonna go, you know what, I'll go in with the L'Oreal because I feel like this one you could probably find at the drugstore easier than the Makeup Revolution. Though the Makeup Revolution is definitely like top, top favorite for me in the drugstore. So I just squirt this on the back of my hand and I'll apply it 
I've mentioned that I think this I think I mentioned it. this was a great dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood uh, flawless filter because it gives you that same like glow and what I like about the Glotion is that it does feel like moisturizing so that feels really good and whatever foundation you put on top like it's gonna peek through So now while that sits, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, I've used up most of my eyebrow pencils. I can tell you that one of my favorite ones from the drugstore, beside the one I'm going to use right now, is the CoverGirl. It's like the micro pencil. That one is really good. I don't have it. Unfortunately, I ran out of it. Another really good one that I do kind of shift between is going to be the e.l.f. Ultra Precision Brow Pencil. This is a great one if you can't find the Morphe one. The Morphe one is my favorite because it has, it comes in more shades and it caters to, like, if you're a brunette. One thing that's a pet peeve of mine when it comes to, like, eyebrow pencils, especially from the drugstore, is they have, like, three shades, right? So you have, like, a blonde shade that's not even ashy. You have a brunette shade that has, like, a red undertone or you have, like, a dark brunette. Like, they leave out redheads. They leave out, like, if you have a cooler undertone for brown hair um, and sometimes the blonde pencils tend to run more red and then when you know if you're blonde and you put it on you'll see that like it, it just turns a little bit because you need that ashy color underneath um, that drives me crazy however I think I found my favorite eyebrow pencil and it happens to be from Morphe and if you are my shade this one is in cold brew this is called the micro pencil this is what it looks like it has a spoolie on the end, like a really good spoolie, like the Anastasia one. I would say this is a very, very good dupe for that. The Brow Wiz, I am almost out of it. So while my skin kind of sets with the prep and everything, I'm going to go in straight with my eyebrows. This pencil is great because it's very fine, so you can definitely, if you like to draw on brush strokes, you can achieve that with this pencil. And it's not super waxy and it's not dry, it's like that perfect in the middle texture, or yeah, texture. And like I can get in here where I have like little tiny gaps and really fill them in and I'll just go on the spoolie side and spread it out or blend it out definitely try this eyebrow pencil out I get mine at Ulta Ulta's usually pretty stock when it comes to um, Morphe stuff alright next up is foundation that's kind of the order I put my makeup on I have two foundations here I haven't reviewed this one, but it's become a favorite, um, so you get like a mini review in this one. Uh, so two is going to be the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. This was actually suggested by you guys. I think it's a great foundation. It's definitely one of those one and done foundations. Like, it looks amazing. And then my other favorite one is going to be the Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild. This is a great one. It is more than a tinted moisturizer because there's more coverage, and of course you get that like really beautiful glow and it wears all day. Um, the only thing is, is like, I wish they would expand their shades because it's such a good formula, but some of these shades have more of a pink undertone. Again, it's either pink or like it's a neutral undertone, so I can get away with the neutral one and warm up my face with um, bronzer, but yeah, it's the formula is just amazing. It's so good. It's pretty crazy because I just cleaned out my foundation drawer and I want to make sure I didn't throw it out, but the e.l.f. Camo CC um, foundation is so good. I didn't I wouldn't pull it out A because I couldn't find it and B it's not gonna match me right now. It's like my it's my winter shade and it's i it's too light for me. It's not gonna work. So so I'm in the shade Sandy Beige in case you are curious. That's what it looks like. This right now is like almost my perfect shade. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna 
dot it. I start always like towards the center of my face. So this foundation is great because it has the most beautiful finish. Uh, when it dries down, it almost looks like it almost looks like you powdered your face. And I love that. <laughs> and it's funny because I don't powder my face usually. But it just, I don't know, it just makes it look like I put more effort into doing my makeup than I did. Like, if you're looking for a foundation that's like one of those five minute foundations or five minutes and you're done kind of thing with your makeup routine, I would definitely look into this one. It's great. And like, look, I have redness here. Like, it covers it up quickly. This is a Delium Tools brush, in case you were curious. I've had this forever. I know right now this is looking very pale on me. I'm going to fix that. <sighs> but like you see, like I'm usually right here, like it just covers it up so good. This brush is very streaky. I shouldn't AOA brush. <laughs> but like, see how my face just looks like, I don't know, like I powdered it and stuff. <laughs> It gives you like light to medium coverage. I don't know that it's a full coverage foundation. I wouldn't call it that. But it gives you nice, nice coverage. You have time to play, like, play around with it as you're applying it. So really good. I can definitely understand why everybody loves this foundation because it's great. Next up is going to be Concealer. I have two concealers here. One is more of a corrector. The other one is a concealer and They are not anything new to you guys. I'm gonna first use This one is called the skin food dark circle concealer I got mine off of Amazon. I know you can't really find this one in store, but you can find it on Amazon. I will have it linked in my uh, Amazon store link down below so I'm going to take this and I'm only going to put it right where I have darkness, where I need some correction. And over here on the outer part. That's kind of where my dark spots are. Just like that. This could, um like corrector. I'm going to call it a corrector because it's really not a concealer. Like you really can't put this on and like walk out unless you have a very peachy undertone of like your skin is very peachy undertone cuz then it just looks odd, you know. But this rivals like if you are familiar with like the Bobbi Brown concealers, um I don't know who else makes color correctors, but you know, the concealers and correctors from Bobbi Brown are they're good. Alright, next, nothing new to you guys, it's the Flower Eye Bright Palette. This is a great concealer kit, I have to say, especially from the drugstore. The colors are really good, they're like almost like medium coverage, um, they're not heavy, it's a very thin formula, but the pigmentation is there and I really like it. This is what it looks like, my shade is light. Probably could have gotten away with medium, with more tan, but I went with this color because um, I can make it work. So you have two shades here. I like to mix these two. And I'll kind of like pick them up like that together. Oh, there's no more there. And I'll just go over top what I just corrected. And like you see how it's applying onto the skin? Like you can barely see it, but you'd see that it's been... It's brightened up the area. 
And I like this kit a lot because, again, it's lightweight. I'm over 30. I'm 33. And I can't put on, like, those heavy, heavy concealers because they just make me look older than what I am. And I'm not feeling that. And I don't, I personally don't like that my under eyes looks like I have makeup on. You know, there's, there's just certain parts of the face that, like, kind of age you. Especially when you have makeup on, and under the eyes is definitely one of them. Other reason I like this palette is because it does have a setting powder, and it's really nice. I do apologize that I'm sniffling. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm a lot better than I was a couple of days ago. I'm going to take that setting powder, and I'm just going to run it like under the eyes. A fluffy brush is best to do that with. I'm kind of doing this like very light-handed. And just a quick tip, if you are somebody who like creases a lot, unfortunately with cream products, you kind of can't avoid that. But what you can do is you can, when you're setting, get the pat, like the brush and go like against the grain, like towards your nose. And that kind of helps to set it a little bit better. For all over the face. Now, again, if you follow me, you know that I don't really use setting powder. But there is one setting powder that I will occasionally use. Um, especially like if I'm more oily in certain parts of my face. I am not somebody who will set my whole face. I set certain parts of my face. Um, if you are oily, definitely go for it. Like, especially in your T-zones, like you want to hit that a couple of times. But I'm more on the dry side. So I really don't set my makeup. However, I do love the e.l.f. Halo setting powder. This is really good. It's very lightweight. You only need a little bit. So with this product, like, I don't even keep it open. Whatever's left over, I'll kind of hit it at the top. I'll grab my brush. I'll kind of swirl it around. And then, like, I'll set here by my nose, on my nose, my chin, because that gets, like, a little bit shiny sometimes, and I don't like that. I always hit this part right here. And depending on the foundation, like I'll kind of hit here on my jawline. And then maybe a little bit on my forehead, but not too much. Next is bronzer. Now, I picked two bronzers that I really, really like. I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to pick three. Hold on. There's, there's another one that's really good. I have three. Sorry. All right. My top three favorites are going to be the Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution, the Cream Bronzer. I have talked about this. I've raved about it. Great dupe for the Chanel. Um, it's really good. Like, I love this bronzer. It's buildable. It's blendable. It's super easy to use. It's definitely, like, my favorite cream bronzer, I think, from the drugstore. Second to that, though, is going to be the Milani Supercharged, the bronzer sticks. These are really nice because they like there's color but they give you a glow but it's very it's sheer but you can build it up right and one of like my favorite all-time like og products is going to be the butter bronzer and i think this is the old packaging because i know they recently changed it the sculpting what is this the sculpting bronzer and the butter formula this deep one so good so good like this this is amazing, this bronzer. It's a powder bronzer, but it almost like, it sits on the skin like cream. Amazing. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution today. Now this product, I just kind of like, I swirl it. Like that. And then I'll kind of just hit the tops of my cheekbone. And then just apply it like this. I have the shade Agenda, which is the deepest shade. This only comes in three shades, but they're pretty decent, you know what I mean? Like, they're pretty workable. What I do like is that they actually came out, like, in their three shades. Their first shade is actually perfect for fair skins. And I know those who have fair skin, like, it's hard for you to find a bronzer that isn't too orange or too dark. And I think they nailed it with that. I could probably have gotten away with the middle shade, but I like my bronzer to give me like a little bit more definition so I'll take that and then I always like to push it into my hairline and I'll take a little bit on my nose and then whatever's like see how there's like a bit of a line there like I could see it I'll kind of just 
move on my brush over it just to kind of blend it in with the foundation. There's so much noise today. <laughs> Somebody's cutting something down. The dog is barking. It's a very busy Monday. All right, so that's my favorite for bronzers. I will quickly like just kind of hit just a little bit of extra bronzer. I'm going to show you this one. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's just amazing. I'm going to take that. And that just like deepens the bronze a bit. It's so funny because I've been sick the last like week and it feels nice to finally put makeup on and like I'm bringing some color to my face whereas I've been like more pale recently. Alright, and she's barking again. Her blush, I have three blushes that I really love the formula. Um, it's going to be, one is going to be a no brainer for you. It's the Honest Beauty Cream to Cheek. I'm sorry, cream cheek lip and color. Cream cheek and lip color. I'm sorry. I have it in the shade rose pink. I love all the shades. I just pulled this one today. Another one is Revlon's uh, powder blushes. These are so good, so slept on. Like I don't know why people aren't talking about these more, but they're really good. And you get a, like a decent size. I get mine off of Amazon because it's cheaper than like uh, what's it called Ulta and CVS like I feel like Ulta, I think Ulta is almost like $12 like I get this I think off of Amazon for I don't know like I get them between like $6 to like $9 so I'm saving like two bucks but like these are great and they're this is huge um I have a few shades in this so any shade that like calls your attention just get it the formula is good it's like very silky and another one that I I don't ever talk about but it's my like one of my all-time favorite blushes from the drugstore are these from LA Girl Oh my god, these perform like high-end, but like better. I have these in like almost every shade. These are amazing. I'm going to put this one on just to kind of show you. Like you've seen me use Honest, you've seen me use Revlon, like I have reviews on these. I don't know why I never reviewed these, but I should have. So I'm going to put it on my cheeks so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to take a brush. So these blend so good. And I'm just going to tap a little bit off and I'm going to start applying it. This shade is called Just Glowing, right? Is it Just Glowing? Yes, it's Just Glowing. And I have texture on my skin. This doesn't highlight it. It like, I don't know, it just looks so good. <laughs> And it comes in like, like this one is more of like a satin finish. They have some in matte finishes. They have like shades that you can kind of contour with and just really pretty, really pretty. And they're only like $5. Um, you can find them at CVS. You can find them at Ulta. You can find them on their own website. You could probably find them on Amazon. Um, yeah, but look at that. Like there's warmth, there's glow. It's just amazing. Like. Whenever I do makeup, I pack a few of these in my kit because they're just that good. Like, they're just that good. Alright, highlighter. Highlighter is one of my favorite things to talk about, to do, and the fact that I had to only pick a few was just like... I should just do like my favorite. Uh, no, you know what? I should just like do one day where I just show you guys my highlighter drawer. And so time for highlighter. I picked three highlighters that are really good. These have been my favorite recently from the drugstore. Um, here we go. The first one is going to be the ELF Jelly Pop Glow Stick. This is such a good highlighter. Like, it's just ridiculous that this is drugstore. Like, that's crazy. It feels, it feels expensive. It smells really good. It smells like actual, like, real watermelon, not like that fake watermelon, at least to me. Um, this shade is really beautiful. I feel like the base is clear for the most part, so it works across the board for many skin tones. Then I have the Milani Supercharged 
highlighter. This is new from them. This one too, it has a clear base, so it'll work for me. It'll work for the porcelainist, porcelainist person. Somebody who's very porcelain, and it'll work for somebody who's deep, rich skin tone because it has a sheer base. This is going to be more of like a balmy highlighter. Very, right there. Very, very, like, very glowy. But that's the kind of glow I like. And then the third one, because I know somebody always asks, can you give me a powder option? Actually, an eyeshadow. And it's from Maybelline. And I'll demo it on myself, and then I'll do a little bit of the other glossy highlight. But this is the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow in the Glow Down. This is gorgeous. I thought I was more prepared today, but I'm not. Sorry. I'm going to take the glow down. And I'm just taking, this is a Morphe M501. And I'm just running it back and forth. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to hit the tops of my cheekbones. And kind of go up. Do you see that? All right, I put a little bit too much. So I'm going to just use the brush to kind of diffuse it. So for some reason, my camera stopped recording. I don't know if the video is just too long but I hit record again. So I'm just diffusing this. You see how pretty that is? I may have gone a little bit too heavy, and on top of the glowy blush, it just looks a little bit extra. But I promise you, when you don't use a glowy brush, or use more of a fluffier brush to kind of blend out the, um, the highlighter, it does, it does look really pretty. So I'm going to take the Jelly Pop, and I'm just going to go over top of that. And that's going to give it, like, a wet glow. And kind of just soften it a little bit. On the other side, I'm just going to go in with a jelly pop by itself. See? I think that's really pretty. And that's over a blush... A powder blush so they, it does play nice I would do like if you're gonna do a cream highlighter over top to just make sure that you're done with your blush and then just go in with your finger and like spot highlight certain areas all right eyeshadow I'm gonna keep it simple today because I just feel like my cheeks are like the star of the show a couple that I'm gonna talk about the elf Bite size eyeshadow palettes. These are great. As you can see, I have them, I think, in almost every single shade. I think I'm missing one shade. Uh, these are amazing. They blend really good. Um, they're creamy. They're super pigmented. Super pigmented. Like, these are amazing. The other one that I'm going to mention that I love, and I'm going to show you both palette options, is going to be the Flower Beauty, the Desert Lights. And the Jungle Lights, these are great. They are more of a metallic, sparkly shadow. It's one of those that you just use with your finger once. You swipe it, and that's it. And you just, you get pigmentation, and it looks like luxury makeup. And, um, but the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Sticks, these are so good. These are cream eyeshadows that, like, let me just show you. they're gorgeous they last all day they really do like you have a few minutes to kind of like play around with them and once they set they don't move um, they really don't crease either I don't find that they crease that much but you know this is my eyes so, those are amazing I'm gonna be using the bite size eyeshadow palette in cream and sugar and I'm just gonna do like a simple eye because I wanted to show you guys eyeliner too and we're gonna we're gonna talk about eyeliner because that's one of my favorite things. And I'm just gonna go in with the light shade. I'm probably gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna go with the light shade and I'm gonna just nicely define my eye. I'm just speeding this up just for time purposes. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade here, and I'm gonna lightly tap it. I'm gonna tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna. To find my crease a little bit, I put too much on that side. <laughs> and just kind of do windshield wiper motions. So I don't use primer. I think most of you know that. Um, 
and even without primer like look at that pigmentation it's crazy these blend really nice these do perform like amazing super simple and then like this I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm just gonna like do a light wash over my eyes just like that just to kind of open up my eyes a little bit I have something in my eye blendable super easy to use pigment is there so happy about that all right eyeliner eyeliner is one of my favorite things to use now I'm somebody who usually I don't wear eyeshadow like ever I occasionally wear eyeshadow or like if I'm filming or like I don't know I gotta be in the mood for it I'm more of an eyeliner person when I want to be a little bit more <laughs> than mascara and I have three eyeliners that I want to talk to you about so, I have the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. It has like a tip, like a pen, like a, those calligraphy pens. So, and it comes to a very fine point. So, you can get thin lines for eyeliner. Then the other one I want to talk about, this is one of my favorites, and it's actually, it's the Honest Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. I have a new one here. I have to throw my other one out because it was old. But... This is a matte eyeliner. It does dry down matte. And it's really, really beautiful. This is what it looks like. And it has a felt tip. So it makes lining your eyes very, hold on, very easy. Because of the felt tip or whatever. Like it's, yeah, it's like a felt tip, like a little skinny spongy, like a felt tip, like a marker. It guides the liner. For you so I like that both of these are I would say they're pretty user-friendly the third one that I'm going to talk about is super affordable and this is like a cream like a gel liner this is from LA girl you're not gonna be able to see it because it's like so dark but I got this off of uh, I actually got it at CVS and these are their gel liners and these are so good let me show you like look how creamy that is and how pigmented that is like this is if you guys have ever tried like the Bobbi Brown gel liners. This is a good dupe for that. All right, I'm gonna actually use the L'Oreal today. So I'm going to shake it. I'm just gonna like apply it on the back of my hand just to make sure that it's okay because the last time I used one of these, um, I dried out for some reason and it was like brand new. So I'm gonna quickly line my eyes. Like these, this is a very black eyeliner, which I love. Just like that. And because the point is so small, I'm going to get into my inner corner. I'm going to stop there because I'm going to put mascara on and it's going to complete the look. But like, see how that was quick? Alright. I'm almost done. Mascara. I have two mascaras that I really like. I didn't pick three because I really don't have a third favorite drugstore one. I just have two that I kind of go between. My tried and true... Essence Lash, Lash Princess Mascara. This is like my first one that I found that I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. The second one is going to be my by Apple Mascara uh, Super Lash. This one's my favorite. This was my favorite, but this one like demoted it and it's my favorite now. But they're both good. They're both good. I have straight eyelashes that don't hold a curl very well. And those two mascaras hold it really good. This one just holds it the best. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how it works. I curl my eyelashes. I don't get drugstore lash curlers. Um, I used to use them when I was younger. I don't know if they've changed, but they used to pinch my lashes because my eyes are very wide. Um, my eyes, I go for eyelash curlers that are more suitable for somebody who's like Asian because my eyes are wider and they're 
they're not super flat, but they're kind of flat. You know what I mean? So I've curled that. Just give it an extra little curl. I'm going to go in with my mascara and you are going to see the magic. Now this one does have a big brush and sometimes it does get on your eyeshadow, but we can always fix that. I don't know of any other drugstore mascara or affordable mascara that will give me this, like, same look. Now this I can only find on Amazon. I have been told that in certain dollar stores that they have this, but it's the most affordable. It's only five dollars for mascara. Again, I get mine off of Amazon. I do have it linked in my Amazon store. In my, it's in the description. If you guys want to get it through there, that is an affiliate link. So I do make a very small commission, but I make a commission off of it, and it does help out my channel. I can buy more products to review. So I gotta let that dry because if I try to take it off now, it's going to mess up my eyeshadow even more. Last but not least, our lips. Now this is an area where I don't have much to show you because I don't really wear products on my lips often. I usually do them for like if I'm filming or if I'm gonna go out. But I do have three lip products because I was looking at my drawer. Hang on, I gotta let's see if I can fix this. I have three lip products. So, um, I like red lips. Kind of my favorite thing. Berry lip, uh, a red lip, a deep lip. So, you're gonna see a theme here. <laughs> the Milani Ludicrous Lip Matte Lip Crayon is a very good one. Um, the Maybelline, what is this called? Color Sensational Matte Lipstick. This is so pigmented and the color stay in crayon from Maybelline. Um, I gotta say Maybelline takes it with lip products. These are all matte but they're very moisturizing. Um, like you put them on, they last all day, they last like through dinner and they don't move around like at all. So those are the three I like. I think any color you pick from these particular lipstick lines uh, they will not disappoint. I'm not somebody who picks anything nude because I feel like it doesn't work for me. So that's why I always go for these colors. I'm going to use... I'm going to use this one. This is the Ink Crayon in Be Bold Be You. So I'm going to take that and put my lipstick on. And I love that these kind of have like they're pointed because it doubles up as a lip liner. I feel like my lip, my makeup doesn't really make sense today because I kind of have a bold lip, but it's alright. Oh, the other thing about this too, which is like no brainer, it's so good. It has a sharpener in the back, so whenever you can sharpen the tip, if you need it to be more sharpened, you're good to go. All right, and that's it. Let me throw my hair down because I don't like having my hair up all the time. There you go. I have a full face of makeup with nowhere to go. But I look better than what I started. So, this is nice. This is actually a good tutorial for like uh, if you're going out somewhere or something. But this is kind of everything put together. These are my favorite like drugstore products to pull. Um, if I'm gonna go somewhere, I need to just be a little bit like extra. Uh, these are the products I usually tend to use. The lip is one of my favorites. Like I don't know about you guys, but a bold lip for me like really kind of makes me feel like yeah, I got this. <laughs> um, so that's that's good. And yeah, let me know what your favorite products are and that you're like break them down obviously you don't have to do all of them if you don't want to but I am curious uh, what are your favorite products in particular categories top three top two top one whatever let me know I want to hear from you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful um, yeah and I will see you guys in my next one